Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Today we're checking out a brand new case from Montec. It's called the Sky 2. It's got a very similar layout to the brand new Height Y40. What we're gonna do is our usual thing, ladies and gents. We're gonna do a build, we're gonna test the thermals, we're gonna do all that. Let's do it. All right, let's start off with Panel removal, there are two captive thumb screws on the back of the TG panel. There is no tint, as you can see here. Basically, we're just gonna loosen up these two captive thumb screws, slide the panel back, Bob's your uncle, and the panel is now gone. Back panel, same dealio. Two captive thumb screws. And, with a bit of luck, away we go. The rear panel has a grill for intake. It's also got this removable dust filter as well. I would recommend leaving this on, otherwise you'll just pump your case full of dust. Top panel removal, same deal, another captive thumb screw. We loosen that up, slide the panel back, and this whole bitty will come out. Now there's no filter here, which is actually recommended because I don't recommend using filters on the top of cases because heat, and we want heat to go out. To remove the front panel, basically just slide the glass up. And the top panel needs to be removed for this to come out, and yeah, it's just a TG front panel. For power supply support, you're looking at a maximum of around 210 mils for your power supply. However, keep in mind that the front hard drive cage is removable, so I think that number is, you know, up to interpretation. Speaking of the hard drive cage, we have space for two three and a half inch spinning rush drives in this removable hard drive cage, as well as that there is two two and a half inch SSD sleds on the back. As far as cable management, we've got this single cable raceway through the center of the case. There's a bunch of Velcro tie downs that are pre-installed that help hold all of the pre-installed cabling in there as well. There's a bunch of cable tie downs on the back of the motherboard tray. Also the pass throughs for cables are quite good too. There's one on the top left hand corner here and there's these big cable pass throughs here for things like your EPS power cables as well. There's also cable grommets along the edge of the case as well. This is basically for your motherboard cables and whatnot. And there's also a rubber grommet down here in case you're passing up some GPU power cables or fan cables or whatever you like. You can just pass it through that rude little hole at the bottom. For motherboard support, you're looking at ITX up to ATX. Now it actually says EATX here, but I think it's because they use part of the chassis for another case. As far as air cooler support in the Sky 2, you're looking at 168 millimeters for your air cooler. It's not a really wide case, so yeah, 168 is fine. Most air coolers will be below that anyway. As you can see, there are three pre-installed fans. There's one up the rear. These are all 120 mil fans. However, these side fans have reverse pitch fan blades. So they look like they'll be exhaust, but they're actually intake. If you just take a closer look, you can actually see the angles different. So the air comes out this way. There is another included fan as well for the bottom of the case with those reverse pitch fan blades as well. So. Basically the way this would work is you install this fan on the bottom of the case here and it will push straight into your graphics card, right? Very, very nice. This kind of leads into the next thing with these fans. It uses a standard three pin five volt addressable RGB connector. So most motherboard RGB you should be fine as well as PWM fans as well. As far as fan and radiator support on the side, you can do up to two 120 mil fans here. If you're doing a liquid cooler on the side, be aware that it will sit out further and you actually reduce your GPU maximum length to 180 millimeters. So I would recommend just using fans here. And if you're liquid cooling, put it at the top because at the top you can do three 120 mil fans. You can do two 140 mil fans. This also allows you to do up to a 360 mil radiator at the top as well as a 280 millimeter radiator as well. But that's not all because you can install two 120 mil fans on the bottom of the case as well, as mentioned previously with those reverse pitch fans. While we're on the topic of talking about airflow as well, you'll notice that the whole case has a mesh basement as well. So in terms of actually pulling in cool air and pushing them into the fans on the PSU shroud, you shouldn't have any issues here because basically the whole bottom of the case is open. It's ready for business. It's ready for the sucker. There's an integrated RGB and PWM fan controller that is built into this case. 
There are three fan spots populated by the three fans that are pre-installed. There's three additional, which is six in total. There's also six for the RGB as well. This can be connected up to your motherboard for full motherboard control with the included three pin five volt addressable RGB pass through cable. And this is all powered with a SATA power connector as well. So you will need one of those to power this controller. For internal case wiring, we've got a USB type C front panel connector, USB 3.2 type A connector, the, the front panel audio connector, and something that is becoming a lot more common, check this out, a single block for the front panel cables for your lights and all your switches and everything. For the front panel, there's a power button, there is some lights for your hard disk activity and for your power. There is a button for the RGB control, a USB 3.0 port, there's two type A ports actually, headphone jack, microphone jack, and a USB type C port. As far as GPU support, you're looking at a maximum GPU length of 400 mils. This is the Gigabyte RTX 4080 era, and as you can see, it fits in here quite easily. It is quite a large GPU. You can actually vertically mount these GPUs if you like as well with the appropriate bracket. And I think you'll actually get away with putting in fans underneath it if you were to vertically mount as well. But because I don't have an appropriate bracket right now, I won't be testing that in this video, but take my word for it, it'll probably work. I wouldn't usually do something like this, but because we've still got the Y40 build that we did the other day when we reviewed the case when it came out over CES, I thought I'd just show you a quick side by side because I know people are going to make this comparison quite a lot. The height case is a little bit shorter, but the internal layout for both cases is actually kind of similar, minus the fact that this uses a vertical GPU layout. This can do it as well, right? So don't get that wrong, it can, but physically the Y40 is a smaller case. The build quality is not better, it's just different between the two cases. The Sky 2 is very reminiscent of cases from Leon Lee with the same type of mesh density and the same kind of finish as very high-end Leon Lee cases. So for what you're paying for, for these Montec cases, the quality is outstanding. With that said, let's do a build in the Montec Sky 2 and we'll test the thermals and do all that jazz. So strap yourself in, it's build time. Let's get it.
the thermals of the Montec Sky 2. What you're seeing on your screen right now is the thermals are actually pretty good, a bit better than I expected for the 13900K because it is, in all honesty, a very hot CPU, but the Montec Sky 2 manages to keep all of that under control. So there you go. The GPU thermals, no surprises here. We've actually reviewed this GPU. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. The thermals of the GPU are really good as well. But I'll put a PC part pick list down below in the description so you can check out what all the parts were that we used in this build. I'm not gonna go through them now because we just do little cards now from when we're building it to talk about all the hardware. But what do I think about the Montec Sky 2? Well, a few things, the build quality, is absolutely excellent. It is so much better than it has any business being. It's just like a Leon Lee case, but much, much cheaper. The fact that this includes a whole stack of fans is really nice too. Cable management for this case is really, really good. I'd mentioned this in the video a little bit earlier as well, but Basically, the way the side panel works, and this is actually not exclusive to this case. We do see this quite a lot with cases, but it kind of sits away from the chassis of the case itself to give you a little bit extra room for cable management. And this does that and executes that very, very well. Overall, I think Montex done a really good job with the Sky 2. The cable management is excellent. The build quality is really good. And the price is also really good because if you're interested, in the Montec Sky 2, they're starting at $99.99, or let's just say $100 US dollars at the time of this video going live. If there's one thing I need to comment about on this pre-release sample, we've had this here for a long time, right? We just forgot that we had it. There is a PWM controller issue where it doesn't allow the fans to run at the full PWM range. Our sample is actually impacted by this manufacturing fault, but... Montec has told me that all of the retail versions from whenever the case launched don't have this issue anymore. So yeah, if you can hear the fans in the background and I'm speaking louder than usual, it's because the thing is a little bit loud and the controller isn't doing what it's supposed to do. I actually forgot that this was a thing when I was putting this together. I'm like, oh, why are the fans so loud? And it was literally because of that one defect, but it has been fixed. There it is, the Montec Sky 2. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you get yourself subscribed, hit the like button. Yeah, do all those things. Ring the notification bell, and if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. It's available by clicking that join button right down there, down below. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. Yeah, I'm speaking loud, I'm talking over the fans. I could have just used the PWM splitter, but I didn't. <laughs> Thanks for watching.